Welcome to Eclectic Cell Protection, Cell Defense Systems UK. This video will be giving you a breakdown of the main advantages that can be found when facing an attacker with a knife or edge weapon. So there are three main advantages that can be found when an attacker has a blade or edge weapon in their hand. Number one, you can be fairly sure if the attacker has a blade in their hand you know what moves or actions they can or cannot make. For example, if an attacker has a knife in their hand, it's very unlikely they'll try and kick you. In addition, if they've got blades in both hands, it's very unlikely they'll try and grapple you. So the actual choice of the weapon used can be a great indicator of how they're gonna use it against you. So if we look at the example of an attacker with a knife in their hand, you know what type of actions they're gonna use. For example, with a knife, they can lunge forwards towards your face and attack you a bit. They can lunge forwards towards your body, your gut, either singly or multiple times. You know that the blade can go from right to left or from left to right. You know the blade can go diagonally across downwards, diagonally across upwards. It can go from multiple angles of rotation. In addition, if, it, if the attacker is flicking or slashing with you, you know it can be flicked towards your face, towards your upper body, towards your gut, maybe towards your legs. In addition, if they're holding the blade in a reverse or hat grip where they grip the blade this way and the knife comes down from the fist, you know that they can go downwards in one plane of motion, you know it can go diagonally across in one plane of motion and maybe sideways on in one plane of motion. And also, if the blade is disguised in a camouflage method where the blade is held behind the wrist, you know that it can slice and attack the inside and outside parts of your leg, the inside and outside parts of your torso, and maybe the face. So the actual choice of weapon allows you to understand the types of attacks they can use against you. Number two, if the weapon is single-handed, it's very likely that the attacker will be holding it in their dominant hand. So if they're right-handed, they're gonna be using their right hand to attack you a bit. It's very unlikely if an attacker is right-handed, they'll try and use their left hand to attack you a bit. Third, the main advantage you can gain, though, is the opponent's actual reliance on the weapon itself. Any bravery will be directly attributed to the weapon itself. The opponent will always try and work around you with that weapon. They always try and use its main functions against you, which brings us right back to advantage one. So facing the attacker with an edge weapon, always look at their body action, what hand they're using, and the distance between you and them. In conclusion, facing an opponent who, ha who has an edge weapon in their hand and has an intent on using on you will take great mental strength and great mental determination to get rid of a weapon. It's important to mention at this point that poorly planned attack defences against edge weapons could end up with you in the worst case of dying, yeah? So when you're practicing good self-protection and personal security skills against edge weapons, always practice defence against the right-hand side and defence against the left-hand side. So you have 100% efficiency on both sides of the body. However, to balance this out, the increased fear and awareness and adrenaline of the weapon can be used to induce greater determination to get rid of your opponent fast, effectively and dynamically. So when I'm teaching self-defense against edge weapons and there's no room to escape or evade, always get in close, be the first to attack, control the arm and elbow, preempt with knee strikes, preempt with elbows, hammer fists, face gouges, take the attacker down to the floor, stamp on the wrist, stamp on the attacker's ankles, maybe their groin, and if you can, evade to safety or exit to a safe zone as soon as possible. 
but always remember to use force that is deemed reasonable and proportionate to the level of threat. So those are the main advantages you can use against an attacker who has a blade or edge weapon. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you can take away something useful from it and I've increased your general self-awareness and your personal security skills against knives and edge weapons. Uh, for more information, again, uh, for more information on edge weapons and knives relating to awareness and self-defense, please view my other videos on this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And also check our website www.eclecticselfprotection.com for everything relating to martial arts, self-defense and self-protection training in general. Thanks again, hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.